Therapy of the primary tumor in newly diagnosed metastatic hormone-sensitive prostate cancer. To treat or not to treat? That is the question. By Ed Weber, MD. Overview. Should the prostate be treated in addition to systemic therapy? The management of de novo metastatic prostate cancer is changing rapidly, and there is growing interest in local treatment of the primary in these patients. Currently, there is no consensus regarding standard of care. This lack places a responsibility for an informed discussion between patient and physician in men who present with this advanced stage. Choice of a management regimen needs consideration of the definition of low disease burden, a patient's tolerability for a prostatectomy or chemotherapy, the trade-off between the benefit of surgery, avoidance of the complications of local progression, and surgical adverse effects, bladder outlet and uretic obstruction, compared to, say, the efficiency and safety of a short course of radiation therapy employing stereotactic body radiation therapy, or SBRT. The biologic rationale for local treatment of the prostate is supported by research showing 1. That the primary tumor in the prostate secrete factors, or oncosomes, into the blood that prepare a metastatic niche to receive and nourish circulating tumor cells. 2. That destruction of cells in the prostate by radiation or cryosurgery release internal antigens that prime T cells to attack micrometastases, the abscopal effect. And 3. The back and forth tumor cell interchange between the primary tumor and the metastases. The outcome of two studies support the trend of treatment of the primary. Lumen et al. in European Urology Open Science 2021 states, Radiotherapy to the prostate prolongs survival of patients with low-volume, newly diagnosed metastatic prostate cancer, and reports their retrospective study of 109 men comparing the two-year overall survival of men treated by radical prostatectomy, IMRT radiation to at least the prostate and seminal vesicles, and no local treatment. All men received androgen deprivation and, later in the trial, also chemotherapy and a newer anti-androgen agent. Low burden disease was defined by having less than four bone lesions and no visceral metastases. Imaging consisted of standard CT and bone scanning. With general adoption of the newer PSMA PET CTs and Pilarify, the incidence of this category of disease will increase. The trial tallied the local adverse effects from surgery AEs following radiation therapy, and in patients having NLT. The local AEs were significantly lower in surgical patients compared to the RT and NLT cohorts, leading the authors to opine that surgical removal of the local tumor bulk appears to be the best way for reducing local complications. Their findings. The two-year overall survival was not significantly different for radical prostatectomy and radiation therapy patients which showed an overall survival of 93 and 100%. But for no local treatment, the two-year overall survival was 75%. Their conclusion, in newly diagnosed low-burden metastatic disease, radical prostatectomy and radiation therapy yielded comparable outcomes. The second study where the outcomes support the trend of treatment of the primary is by Kondakar Pinto et al. from the NIH in Clinical Advances in Hematology and Oncology, July 2021, present Emerging Role for Local Therapy in Oligometastatic Prostate Cancer, an excellent review. Their discussion highlights the benefit and safety of metastasis-directed therapy with stereostatic body radiotherapy directed to the prostate and to five or fewer metastatic lesions as compared to standard-of-care systemic treatment. Cited in this study are two large, randomized trials, HORAD and STAMPEDE, which, on subset analysis, found a three-year overall survival of 81% in patients whose prostate and metastases were treated with SBRT, compared with 73% of men receiving systemic standard of care. SBRT was found safe and not associated with long-term 
genitourinary adverse effects. The bottom line. The management of de novo metastatic prostate cancer is rapidly evolving, lending support to the concept that some patients with low burden metastatic disease will benefit from treatment to both the primary and three to five sites of metastatic cancer.